Hey everybody, my name is Rick Brown and uh, this is my very first YouTube video. It's also uh, my first um, Procreate painting. Well, my first realistic Procreate painting. This is uh, um, Ace Fraley, uh, his solo album cover from 1977, or at least my version of it. And uh, it's something I've always loved. I've just loved these album covers and I always wanted to try and paint them. And uh, honestly, up until recently, most of the stuff I had done was cartoony. I mean, this is, you know, I, I could draw these cartoons all day long. I love them. I copy them, obviously. This was the extent of my uh, drawing ability up until recently. And then I happened to be sitting there on the couch and pulled up the artwork for, for this album. And I thought I'd give it a shot. So let me show you what that looks like here. Um, here's the album on the left here. This is, uh, of course, the video's a little more blown out than it should be, but there's, uh, you can see, there's Ace on the left, and then my version on the right here, and they're pretty close, not exact, but I wasn't trying to go exact, I just wanted to capture the spirit of it, and, uh, you know, Ace is looking a little rough over here, he looks like he was out the night before, I uh, had a little mercy on him, and made him just look a little more pink eye-ish. One of the awesome things uh, about this cover, aside from everything, is the blue glow um, kind of behind Ace, which really made it uh, a distinctive look. And of course, all four album covers had each respective member's kind of primary color um, behind them. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here is how I did this using Procreate. Um, and it's just, uh, I don't think I could do this in any other drawing program. Uh, what I did is I created a, a layer, but let's first, let's, uh, let's turn that background just kind of a, a gray so we could see where the hair is, and then we can kind of uh, draw the blue globe behind it. Okay, so first thing is we need to uh, create a layer, and I'm creating it down further. We're going to call this one Glow. Always make sure you label your layers so you never find anything. Uh, when I first did this, I didn't realize it was going to turn out as good as it did, so I kind of didn't plan out my layers. Uh, that great. Um, just using standard brushes here. So this is uh, in the, under inking. This is the technical pen. Uh, and we're just going to pick anywhere because you're going to end up going all the way around anyways. Okay. And oh, and before I do that, I got to make sure I've got the right color for the glow. I do. So the, just uh, start drawing strokes downwards uh, in the in the direction of the hair that's already there on the outside, just kind of filling it in as we go. Um, it may look like I'm doing upstrokes as well as downstrokes. I'm not only uh, downstrokes just so that it tapers uh, thin at the end, just like hair. You can see, um, you know, at the top, it's kind of close, uh, it's narrow, and then it gets thicker at the bottom with some cool curls in here. I'm going to try and follow that as closely as I can. It's not going to be exact. Um, again, we're just trying to get, uh, capture the spirit of this. All right, I'm going to speed this up uh, so you don't have to sort of sit through and watch the uh, do this kind of painfully. Just one thing to note, uh, it does look like I've got some sort of white glow on the hair. That's purely just uh, the way the camera is picking this up. So uh, it's not like I'm doing some sort of amazing kind of uh, coloration here or using some specific brush. I'm just doing strokes all the way around, just trying to fill in the hair as much as possible and then kind of going back looking at the original and then trying to add some details like these these uh, curls that are in here.
Okay, so let's take a look here. So first thing is um, we're going to change that background back to the solid black so we can kind of get a sense of what this actually looks like here. So let's do that. Oh, yeah. And this is just the quick version, but I th that's already looking um, pretty awesome. And I'm not taking credit for myself doing this because I'm copying somebody else's so I could say that. But uh, I think this looks pretty realistic. I, here I'm just trying with a finer tip, um, seeing if I can add some detail in, but I think it looks pretty good the way it is. But you can spend as much time as you want and get this right. Don't be in a rush. All right. That was my very first YouTube video. So um, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe and like button and the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. See you again next time.